Welcome back. And I know you hear me talk a lot about split DNS and you know how I prefer that over hairpin NAT and things like that. So I want to do this quick video to talk about what is split DNS. Before we get too far into split DNS, we just need to touch on what is DNS. And DNS stands for Domain Name System. And basically it's a yellow pages for the internet. So every host out there has an IP address. So in, instead of of memorizing like uh, 77.123.42.65 we memorize widgets.com so DNS resolves names to IPs and it allows us to do nifty stuff like have one server with one IP and host I'm not gonna say unlimited but more than one website could be two, five, ten. I mean, I manage web servers where we have dozens of websites that use the same IP address, but using DNS, you know, we we can get around that that limitation. Uh, DNS does use port 53, TCP, and UDP. So, what is split DNS? So. When you have split DNS, the world outside of your internal DNS server sees your servers via the live external IP address that's on your firewall that you forwarded ports through. And the guests or hosts inside your network see your servers via the internal IP addresses. And I'm going to kind of explain that if this is, I don't know if that sounds weird. We'll go to the next slide and, and we'll kind of explain it. So now when I say external DNS server, you could actually host your internal and your external DNS server. They're just answering to different clients. So what you see here, in my example, this is, here's the external DNS server over here. And then here's the internal. And you can see here's the firewall in the middle. And the external firewall IP is 77.66.55.44 and it's got port 80 forwarded over to 192.168.1.10 which is the widgets.com web server. Now the internal DNS server when this internal client says hey I want to go to widgets.com it comes here the internal DNS server says hey widgets.com is at 192.168.1.10 sends the traffic right down here it never touches the firewall so it doesn't have to do a NAT loop back and it, it never has to leave the network now this internal DNS server can not only host the the zones for your internal domains or your domains internally but it can also then resolve um, zones and queries you know for servers that you don't host so microsoft.com google.com you know this server will go out to the internet and grab those or go out and look up uh, root hints things like that so your outside client now whether this external DNS server sits on this side of the firewall and you've got port 53 forwarded through or whether it's sitting outside I'll tell you that I'm a fan of having a DNS server on the inside and I use Ubuntu and we're actually going to do some configuration on that uh, you'll see that video on Friday but then when I do an external DNS server which has my external IPs I usually use Google DNS and I register my um, domains through Google so you get to use their DNS for free if I don't use Google DNS then I will have an Ubuntu box and I will forward port 53 through my firewall to my DNS server and what I try to do is I don't like having um, both of my or all three of my external DNS servers on the same subnet so if I've got multiple sites that can host those with different providers I do that to, to split up the chance that I'm going to lose all those servers at the same time. So back to our outside client. <clears throat> so our outside client wants to go to widgets.com so it hits the external DNS server and the external DNS server resolves widgets.com to 77.66.55.44 and it's www so it's port 80 so it comes over here to the firewall and the firewall's got that port 80 forwarded through 
And so it goes down and hits the widgets.com web server, and you get the widgets.com website. So when we talk about split DNS, we're really we're hosting a zone for widgets.com internally, and we're hosting one that also has external IPs. So it's internal IPs, non-routable to the outside world versus routable live IPs. And it can be, you know, you can host both those servers on this side of the firewall. For simplicity, I've got one on the inside, one on the outside. But this, this is really a, this is kind of a high-level overview. DNS, you should really do some reading about it. You can do some really awesome things. So if you like the video, please subscribe. Please give a thumbs up. Please comment and share. And we will see you at the DNS configuration video.